Today, I would like to explain how to book equipment through ISTEM portal. This is for NIT Warangal users. So go to NIT Warangal website, go to R&D section, select research centers and facilities and select central research instrumentation facility. Click on slot booking. So you will be directed to ISTEM at NIT Warangal webpage. Here are some guidelines were mentioned. These guidelines for NIT Warangal users particularly. So I am opening this. So these are the guidelines. I will go through one by one and I will book the slot. So visit this ERF page, navigate to so and so link and click on slot booking. So I have already done and access the ISTEM portal. Click on the ISTEM links for your required services or facility. So these are the different instruments that are available under ISTEM and IT Warangal. So suppose I'm interested in FTR instrument to make it to have an analysis. So I will select ISTEM link. So now I'll again I'll check the guidelines. So my second point is over now third point. Select the required analysis, appropriate category, internal academic user and academic internal different department. Let us say. So here spectrum analysis so external academic users some other rate internal academic at the same time different department different department is option also there so for this i would like to check the tariff so this is crif web page we have already opened and a tariff under tariff for ftir so this is for ftir for ftir electrical department 50 rupees and other departments 100 rupees suppose I'm not a I'm not a scholar from electrical department. So in this case, uh, case, I'll select different department. If you are from electrical department, you will select internal. But if you are uh, other department, so please select other. So this is for example, I'm showing if it is other instrument, uh, according to the tariff details, you need to select a uh, need to choose under which category you comes. So accordingly, you need to select here. Okay, I have selected then select equipment reservation click checkbox tick the checkbox and submit equipment reservation checkbox and submit so now login or register if already registered login using uh, using your username and password so these are the my username and passwords which i have received from iStem directly and i am opening the captcha entering the captcha I so login it is directed to the same page again and I will select other department equipment reservation checkbox and submit again I will go to guidelines okay download the CSRF form requisition form where is the requisition form so here is the download CSRF requisition form on the left bottom side download it yes i have downloaded it so this is a requisition form what are the guidelines they have mentioned fill out the form get it approved by the use supervisor and convert into a pdf so this is a requisition form these are the personal details of the research scholar and these are the sample details and some other information signature of user signature of supervisor so I'll take a printout of this one and I'll fill all the details and I'll get it signed by my supervisor. Okay, my PDF is ready. Then let us go. Let us continue. Check the availability. Review the calendar for available dates and times. So this is the screen. So today is January. So these are the free slots. Green or free slots. Red means booked slots. So suppose I would like to make it happen on eighth so if i press on eighth so you may observe the change in date here suppose if it is on 10th you may observe the change in date here let us say i i would like to book on thursday so this is thursday 9th uh, i would like to book from 9 to 10 o'clock i have pressed this one so requested date requested date means today's date today is january 1st and remarks if any remarks are there i will mention available from 9th January 9 o'clock to 9th January 10 o'clock. Suppose I have five samples, five samples, I'll enter five. If it is three or three, that is up to your requirement and the service type, 
characterization or fabrication so here characterization i'll uh, select a characterization and i'll go uh, again i'll read the thing okay choose the slot pick a suitable date and time submit booking request provide the required details like project details purpose of use and any special requirements okay so here i'll go go for proceed booking so now yeah as per the guidelines i have been instructed to submit the booking request provide the required details like project details purpose of use any other special requirements and uh, upload the mandatory document that is csr of uh, requisition form which has been already converted into pdf i need to upload okay so this is uh, information personal information okay these are the personal informations okay then uh, booking information i'll click here booking information okay 9th uh, january 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock okay these and these are my details and institution details and uh, technical information so under this uh, title of job or project so as this is a demo i would like to type a demo here but you are not you should not uh, uh, type a demo so you need to give your proper details and a number of samples here also you have possibility to change the number of uh, samples and a nature of samples so what what kind of samples that uh, you are going to analyze you need to mention here and any other technical information you have you need to mention the technical information clearly specific information any other specific information particular range or particular nanometer range scan rate that every information you need to mention here and uh, upload the reference papers or any other documents so here yes here upload documents mandatory attached to the approved csrf requisition form i have already uh, taken the signature from the supervisor and i made it pdf now i will upload here now i will upload here i have uploaded and any other information uh, uh, current billing information name so this is my name so i'll write my name why because i need bill with uh, my name and uh, billing address so some address i have mentioned so equipment uses cost three as it is um, 100 rupees per sample three samples 300 rupees uh, so i'll click on uh, direct booking option or I'll, I'll go through the guidelines once again uh, so review the proceed review and proceed with the booking verify all details and submit proceeding booking okay so i'll submit a direct booking so this is uh, operation is going on yes here this blue border service request submitted and uh, so pending status is showing uh, today is my requested date and uh, for 9th 10 o'clock to 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock so this i can uh, view under my booking requests so these many requests i have done but uh, this is the pending status which is showing for a 9th and 10th so you need to wait for the clarifications so here my status is uh, it is showing pending status and uh, so check the mail so i have received the mail immediately so for FTIR at NIT Varangal Institution, status is pending and I have requested for 9th Jan to 9th. So I have received the mail immediately. Now I will wait for the confirmation from the operator. Yes, within few minutes, I got a reply from the ISTEM notification that a clarification is required. So the operator has requested for clarification. So immediately I will log in. Uh, I will log into my system portal now uh, the status is showing clarification required so i'll click on fbr number so these are the details uh, see here clarification point so please upload the type of sample what is the ph value what is the range of the scan rate even though i have given information the operator is requesting me to give more information about my sample analysis so by using edit service request form so regarding technical information personal information is fine booking information is also fine but when it comes to the technical information as he requested me for giving more information about uh, nature of samples the ph value so i will give clear cut information so specific information means a scan rate 
something what is the required scan rate such information even he may request me to upload the document properly so i'll scan again and i will upload if i forgot to upload this document he may request me to upload the requisition form so i can upload here so by using this option so regarding clarification here please upload the type of sample so here also i can give so this is his question and my answer also can be mentioned here so we have two options either here also we may upload and at the same time here also so it is better to give the answer here why right? because he have raised the question so for his question i am giving the reply and finally submit please provide valid number of hours it is asking so uh, for one hour let us say roughly i have submitted i have pressed the submit option so now my data is uploaded to the iStem portal and i will be notified so i am waiting for the reply so what are the guidelines is here so please confirm from operator address any operator queries and await confirmation regarding your booking status so the operator has uh, requested some queries i have uh, replied and await confirmation regarding your booking status so i need to wait for some time whether uh, if he is satisfied with this result, uh, information so he will give the slot he or she the operator will give the slot so service request form edited successfully so st now it is under uh, pending status and a service request form edited successfully whatever the questions raised by the operator i have given the reply so immediately i got a mail also query responded so i have responded so iStem is sending notifications every time iStem is sending notifications regarding the status of the uh, fbr now i am waiting for the reply from the operator yes uh, i got a mail confirmation that uh, the slot has been allocated so i got a mail and uh, so i opened the iStem portal under uh, so my booking request it is showing the slot allocated so now again i will go to the guidelines so address any uh, operator queries and await confirmation regarding your booking status yes uh, i have received confirmation then proceed to payment if using personal funds pay online through the payment gateway if using project funds select the offline payment option and provide the necessary details suppose i am paying from my own pockets so i'll select the pay online option and if it is projects some of the research scholars and they are having analysis from their uh, faculty uh, project funds so such type of candidates has to choose the offline payment project fund people has to select the offline payment and for personal funds uh, people or uh, scholars has to select the online and they need to do the payment there itself so i'll check so this is a slot allocated again i will check the fbr number so now here i have payment gateway so pay yes three samples 300 rupees payment method online method so you will be directed these are the some transaction charges if it is upi charges are almost uh, so information is provided here according to your payment gateway so you will select so if it is offline if in which can case people will select offline if it is from project fund if the faculty in charge having some project fund uh, which uh, the fund has already paid to the respected instrument in charge in that case they will select the offline payment so in this case i am selecting the offline and uh, agree without tedious process so i click on process so in this case i no need to do any payment why because reserve my uh, uh, project guide have already paid a lump sum amount so i am using the offline if it is not your case then you will uh, go to the online and uh, you by selecting the proper uh, gateway you can do the payment so i got a mail and at the same time i got a performer invoice so i have chosen offline method 
all the details are here so i got a performa invoice and at the same time i got a mail so opted for offline payment slot allocated on 9th january 9th to 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock so with these details so my allotment is success and at the same time i have paid so on the respected date reserved dates so directly i will go to the facility and i'll uh, go with my samples and i'll go for the analysis so after the analysis so again we'll go to the guidelines so receive booking confirmation yes a confirmation will be sent to register mail yes i have received sample submission i'll go and submit the samples physically at the allocated slots analysis and uh, report collection so get the samples analyzed and collect the reports from the operator and submit feedback login to iSTEM portal and provide the feedback on the process so in this way so the samples can be analyzed by using the iSTEM portal at NIT Warangal so this is particularly for NIT Warangal users so some of them will pay from their own pocket so they will choose the online method and they will do the payment there itself and some of the persons from a project fund so, so they will choose the offline payment and when they are going for sample submission there itself they will show the proof of uh, uh, project fund allocation so in this way they can do the analysis.